Don't I look hot? Just can't stop stroking you off the <laughs> Shirts and they have little J's on them, big J's. No. Ah! I'm alright. Hello, everybody. So my name is Jeremy, and I'm Jake. And today we're going to be reviewing Morning Miss May's Onda Nisa Chiare. So playing with the feathers. This, this is mine. It fell off. <laughs> I don't know that dance. <laughs> you know my impression of the dance? <laughs> It was like bird. It was like bird. Ooh, we'll stop because it's just gonna make a feathery mess in my room. Okay, so first thing first, we have introduced two new members into our wonderful morning musume group, Lulu and Jin Jin. I am so excited to see them because this is the lineup that I came into. My very first song that I heard was Kanashimi Twilight. But probably the very first song that came out by the time that I became a fan was Resident Blue, which is two or three singles from now. So I'm really excited to finally be in this lineup because this is the one that I came into. And this will be that the most I steady I came line. into because I became It's a lead. pun! She became leader in this single. I became, came into leadership position. Oh, oh, you became... oh, oh. Let's talk about the, the PV. It was fast-paced. It was fun. The girls whispered, Baka! A lot. But it looked like they were saying chicken. Because let's be real, this was a hot, golden, feathery, feathery mess. chicken mess. Speaking of the golden, I am wondering two things about the gold costumes. Number one, there was a line that said, rise morning sun. And so I wonder if the costumes were gold because it's supposed to represent the sun. But I's member color is yellow. So I'm wondering if this is like a big love letter to her, like, hey, you're the leader now. We're making the costumes themed after you. The leader, the leader, the leader, the or because this is the end of the golden generation and wah, it, they're wah, starting up the plot in the era. It was more singable, I think. And it, un unlike some of the other songs where it's like they're more yelling and projecting their voice, I feel like Onanisa Chiare was a little more sing songy. So this song was more likable to me musically than Kanashimi Twilight. Sorry about it. However, this song was an epic fail for me, costume-wise. <laughs> These costumes were a hot, feathery, golden mess. Last week, during um, Roman and Sunku, when he said, I want the costumes to be gold and feathery, I have not seen the costumes when I made the joke that I'm going to make them look like giant chickens. I just guessed that, and I was hoping that there would be something chickeny about them. Guess what? They look like chickens. It doesn't help that there was some weird arm flappy movements in this, and it just was... The styling was cute. Their hair looked nice, their makeup looked nice, their jewelry was nice, but these feathery things... Holy crap, I know the Morning Miss Man girls love their feathers, but come on. Oh, and they were barefoot. It didn't help make them not look like chickens. What I really liked about the costumes, and I thought were a really pretty accessory to them, is that they had these long like arm pieces that came off that kind of connected to their wrists and they looked like long pieces of fabric and I thought that was really pretty and it was cool I just didn't like how glitter-tastic the dresses were I have to say this I loved the jewelry that all the girls had especially Sayumi I think she looked the absolute prettiest of all of them which is a huge step up for Sayumi for me because she usually doesn't really stand out in the music videos usually her hair is kind of just straight or pulled off to the side and she doesn't really do much with it or whoever her costume designer and makeup artist doesn't really do much with her. They curled her hair, they put it off in a big side ponytail, and they gave her this gigantic, almost studded earring that was just so pretty, and I thought she looked knocked out. <laughs> Bless you. Now, it's disappointing to me that these costumes were dominated by the feathers, because I feel like the costumes themselves, with the tassels and the beads and stuff, were actually fairly cute. Um, but... The feathers just were so overpowering to the rest of the outfit that all I could see was feathers. It looked like Roman was pissed at Sunku. In Yoshizawa's graduation, she got this gigantic feather 
angel wings or whatever. And I almost feel like they repurposed those feathers because they were like, here, let's try to throw some essence of Yossi into this video. And so let's take those feathers, dye them yellow, stick them in the girl's hair. That seems like fun. I feel like the set for this music video is actually pretty cool. I'm a little tired of the basic uh, dance sets with the stage and the backdrop and the lights. This one was a little cooler because it had like the hexagonal mirror, mirror ceiling and that was pretty cool. The dance shot to me looked like it was filmed in the same place that later Dream Morning Miss May sings Shining Butterfly. So if any of you guys think that, let me know because as soon as I watched it I was like, that looks like the stage that Dream Morning Miss May used. That's just me. I don't know. PV wise, I mean obviously if you're just listening to the track, the feathers aren't going to get in the way of the actual song. Which has very nice lyrics. Mm -hmm. The lyrics were very cool. Some yeah. some better choices on Sunku's part. Good luck to women. Rise morning sun. And I thought that was really pretty as far as like this guy who is the idiot, the baka, who ruined everything. Guys are kinda like that. They're all jerks, they all ruin everything. So good luck to women with this guy is kinda what I got. I thought it was a really beautiful song. What do you think about Jinjin and Lindin? I feel bad for them. Why? I feel bad that they're like, I mean, they're clearly that. It's clearly us and them. Mm -hmm. It's like there's the Morning Miss May girls, and then there's these two new girls from China. Who are, they're always stuck together, they always sing together, they always place together. And a lot of the time they were in separate shots by themselves. Mm -hmm. And it's just so clearly us and them that it makes me sad. My love Lennon's voice. I like her voice too. It's very, um, it's very deep. And she's trying to make her voice sound a little higher, so she's singing a little nasally, which makes which makes her voice stand out even more, which it's kind of funny. Like, instead of just singing in her normal deep voice, she's trying to make her voice sound higher, but because she's doing it through her nose, it makes her voice stand out even more. But I like the dichotomy between her, you know, deep kind of pingy voice contrasted with most of the other girls who have a very smooth, higher voice. So the line that Lun Lun and Jinjin had together, it was almost like, you know, it was a sandwich of voices. Mm -hmm. It was very satisfying. I really like that. Because I wish there was more of that in Morning Miss May songs. You hear a lot of that in um, American music, American pop music especially these days, where a singer will be singing, uh, especially female singers, and you'll have them singing the line and then you'll have them doubling the line an octave lower and then maybe sometimes doubling it an octave higher so you have, you know, these three pitches of the same note and it's it, it creates a really cool full sound. And that's why I love Lennon's voice, because she complements the music so well. And I feel as far as in terms of the music video, this was one where the new members really stood out a lot. The very last thing that I wanted to say is about the structure of the song, because this will be a structure that we are going to see for a very long time, where all of the girls come in, it's mostly a focus on I, and they're singing the entire thing, it gets to the second round of the song, and then it goes into a dance break where all the girls dance around. The entire song pretty much drops down into this almost like a child's piano where it was like do, 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 when? Do, do. when she sang her big bridge in that very middle part. The instrumentals always do that. It drops all the way down to a very basic sound. I will sing the chorus, or we'll sing that line again and then it'll go back into the girl singing and then it'll end with her really in a big shot. I paying attention today because I didn't <clears throat> notice that. As I said, this will be something we're going to hear from now until like forever. And then it goes back into the song. I'm pretty sure it's in every single song from now until the time that I graduate. There's one of those. And even in most of the B-sides and in most of the album songs, there's something like that. Mm. Where the music basically drops into something very simple for her to sing so that she stands out a lot. And I think it's interesting because Kanashimi Twilight was the first time that we saw that and now it's just being replayed again and again and again and again and again. And I don't know if that's something that they thought they could musically do to keep making money or if it's something that somebody just got lazy in the lyric department and just decided to keep reusing it because it worked the first time. So last week, we asked you guys our typical Morning Miss May graduation question, and that if you thought that it was a good graduation song for Yossi, and I asked if you liked the I version or the Yossi version of the bridge piece. And these were the responses that we got. Jin my Jenna Marble's voice. Yes, Kanashimi Twilight was perfect for Yossi. As for Jeremy's question, I'd have to say Yossi, as much as I love Eyes Take on the song, Yossi owns the solo like no one else. 
You should show Jacob Miki's solo work, like Romantic Kukare Mode, when she did the performance in 2003, Kohaku, all the 4th and 5th gen were her backup dancers. That's why she has a character of being a queen and cold-hearted bitch. Mm -hmm. You didn't even mention Junior and then was that intentional? Yes! Because I wasn't sure that Roman would be accepting of it just yet. Because a lot of the issue with Jinjin and then I think, in Morning Musume, was the xenophobia that was going on and the fact that they were outsiders and that very us and them kind of thing. So for this week, we want to ask you guys. I want to know, do you guys think that the big gold feathers were as distracting as I found them to be? Because I found them to kind of dominate this video. I was so distracted by them, I couldn't even... So what I want to ask you guys this week is how many of you came in during the Platinum era and how many of you are more familiar with these songs than the ones we've previously done? So let us know the answers to both those questions below. And we will talk to you guys all next week. Yabashi, Sadie, whoa, gents. Oh yeah, you get a chance. Kabi, Tsu, Sadie, whoa, gents. Oh yeah, you get a chance. Oh yeah. Thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. Talk to you all next week. Peace out. Quit. Take them out. Raina's style is getting a little old. I want to try something new, something daring, something big. Bows. Well, we'll see how it works out. I love the idea. Roman! Yes, thank you. These feathers. What? What were you thinking? All you said was something gold, something feathery with midriff. And I was really mad at you. And you came up with golden feathers? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Oh, I wonder why. <clears throat> Roman, give me something gold with feathers. Yes, I came up with golden feathers. <sighs> Whose hair is this? We don't need another scandal, Roman. <laughs> uh. Don't let anyone catch you. Sunku, hmm. why didn't you tell me about those two new girls? Junjin and Nin Nin. Did you say Junjun and Nin 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 Nin? Junjun and Nin Nin? Yes, them. What about them? You didn't tell me about them last week. I didn't think you'd appreciate them. Why not? Because they. Just because they're. <sighs> Chinese. I just don't know if it was a good idea. I think they're adorable. I think. They're cute, you then know. Then I won't give them any solos. Ever again. How does oh. that sound? If you think it's what's best. If you think that the fans haven't worn out to them, then maybe I won't give them lines for a while. I just think that they're not the fan favorites. Like Reyna. Yes, like Reyna. Do so you think that Reyna should get a push? I do. Well then... Between you pushing her and me putting big old bows in her hair, I think... I think... She might be the new big thing. She might be the new Mickey. Yeah. I'm seeing the money already. Next week we'll review... Some... Oranges. Oranges. That might be some good inspiration for the video. But I want gray costumes, jackets, gray jackets, and shorts. Okay. And black trim. Okay. I'm seeing the inspiration already. Go, my darling, go right, create, be artistic. Perfect. A 
few more gentle hints, and soon Reyna will be the new star of the group. <laughs> Shiny moon.